क्वेश्चन इज इफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू पी टू दावर वन अपॉइंट थ्री माइनस पी टू दावर माइनस वन अपॉइंट थ्री देन विच ऑफ दीज ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट नाउ हियर वी नो दैट इन ऑप्शन वी हैव फाउंड दैट पावर ऑफ एक्स इज थ्री एंड हियर पावर ऑफ एक्स इज वन ऑल्सो वी फाइंड दैट पावर ऑफ पी हियर इज वन बाई थ्री which in option has power of p as 1 so we are to cube both the sides now we know that a minus b whole cube is a cube minus b cube minus 3ab a minus b this is the formula which we should remember and it is a formula of algebra which we know now we cube both the sides of given so we get x cube is equal to p to the power 1 upon 3 minus p to the power minus 1 upon 3 whole to the power cube we have made we have raised the power 3 both the sides of the given now a minus b whole cube formula can be applied on right hand side so we get p minus 1 upon p minus 3 times p raised to the power 1 by 3 p raised to the power minus 1 by 3 into p raised to the power 1 by 3 minus p raised to the power minus 1 by 3 now we note here that p to the power 1 by 3 into p to the power minus 1 by 3 this multiplication of these two terms p to the power 1 by 3 into p to the power minus 1 by 3 is 1 and p to the power 1 by 3 minus p to the power minus 1 by 3 can be written as x so we get this right hand side as p minus 1 upon p minus 3x what we have done p minus 1 upon p is written as it is 3 we have written as it is multiplication of these two is 1 and p to the power 1 by 3 minus p to the power minus 1 by 3 as given is x so we have written here as x this is the value of x cube and this is our next step now minus 3x will come on left hand side then it will become plus 3x so we get x cube plus 3x is equal to p minus 1 upon p and we find that this is our option b so option b here is the correct option our next question is 1 upon 1 plus a to the power m minus n plus a to the power m minus p plus the other terms are like this in which m n and p are written in cyclic order then the value of this expression is options are a 0 b a c 1 and d is 1 upon a now we see the first term we will be simplifying first term and on that basis we will be similarly writing the expression for the second and third terms now first term is 1 upon 1 plus a to the power m minus n plus a to the power m minus p this is our first term now here we find 1 is written now any number raised to the power 0 is 1 so this one we can write as a to the power m minus m so that this becomes in order in symmetrical form now we find that a raised to the power m can be taken as common which we can write as a to the power m taken common in bracket a raised to the power minus m plus a raised to the power minus n plus a raised to the power minus p now we find 
that here we have 1 upon a to the power m. So simplifying this, we can write a to the power minus m upon a to the power minus m plus a to the power minus n plus a to the power minus p. This is on simplifying first term we get. Now accordingly the second term and the third term can be written. So the first second terms when in this manner are written we find that first term is a to the power minus m upon a to the power minus m plus a to the power minus n plus a to the power minus p. Second term will be here n is here so a raised to the power minus n upon a to the power minus m plus a to the power minus n plus a to the power minus p and third term will have a to the power minus p because p here is there here 1 plus is there so here a raised to the power minus p upon a to the power minus p plus a to the power minus m plus a to the power minus n. Now LCM is same in all. So LCM we take a raised to the power minus m plus a to the power minus n plus a to the power minus p and numerator is a to the power minus m plus a to the power minus n plus a to the power minus p which cancels the denominator and we get 1 as the final answer. So here option C is correct. Next question is x raised to the power a upon x raised to the power b whole raised to the power a plus b into the second term which is like this and third term is this then the value is and these are the options given to us. Now we see the first term. First term is x to the power a upon x to the power b. So the bracket thing can be written as x to the power a minus b and the whole power is a plus b which is like this. Bracket we have written as x to the power a minus b when x to the power b goes top the power will become negative. Now this a minus b will be multiplied by this a plus b and a minus b into a plus b we know is a square minus b square. So this is x raised to the power a square minus b square. First term simplification gives us x to the power a square minus b square. Now second and third terms are in cyclic order. So these terms can be written as x to the power b square minus c square and third term is x to the power c square minus a square. Hence the expression reduces to x to the power a square minus b square into x to the power b square minus c square into x to the power c square minus a square. Now here base is same. So powers will be added in multiplication. We get x to the power a square minus b square plus b square minus c square plus c square minus a square. a square cancels this minus a square minus b square is cancelled by plus b square minus c square is cancelled by c square. We get x to the power 0 and any number raised to the power 0 is 1 x to the power 0 is 1 and hence our option A is correct. The value of this expression is 1. Now we will see the next problem. Next question is if x is equal to 3 to the power 1 upon 3 plus 3 to the power minus 1 upon 3 then the value of 3x cube minus 9x is and options are 15, 10, 12 and D is none of these. Now we find here that we are to find the value of 3x cube minus 9x. Here x power is 3. So for making x power as 3 here, we are to cube 
both the sides we have to raise the power of power 3 both the sides so when we raise power 3 both the sides we get x cube is equal to 3 to the power 1 upon 3 plus 3 to the power minus 1 upon 3 whole to the power 3 now we have the formula in algebra that a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b this formula we should remember also so a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b this formula is applied here on right hand side so we get 3 to the power 1 upon 3 whole to the power 3 which gives us 3 so first term is 3 second term is 3 to the power minus 1 upon 3 whole to the power 3 which gives us 3 to the power minus 1 plus 3 a which is 3 to the power 1 upon 3 b which is 3 to the power minus 1 upon 3 into a plus b which is 3 to the power 1 upon 3 plus 3 to the power minus 1 upon 3. Applying this formula a plus b whole cube, we have simplified the right hand side. Now, here we find that 3 to the power 1 upon 3 multiplied by 3 to the power minus 1 upon 3 is 1. Also, we know that 3 to the power 1 upon 3 plus 3 to the power minus 1 upon 3 is given as x. So, we write this as x. So, when this multiplication is 1, this term becomes 3 into x, that is 3x. Now, right hand side, we get 3 plus 3 to the power minus 1 is 1 upon 3 plus 3 into x, which is 3x. This is the value of x cube. Now, we bring this 3x on left hand side. So, we get x cube minus 3x and on right hand side for simplification we take LCM as 3. In numerator we get 3 into 3 that is 9 plus 1 which is 10 upon 3. Now, simplifying this, so by cross multiplication this 3 multiplies x cube minus 3x. So, we get x cube when multiplied by 3 gives us 3x cube minus 3x multiplied by 3 is 9x value this is equal to 10 and this is what we want to find 3x cube minus 9x is equal to 10 so our option B here is correct option next question is if a to the power x is equal to b b to the power y is equal to c and c to the power z is equal to a then x y z is equal to what and these are the options given to us now we see the first equation we have been given a to the power x is equal to b so value of b is a to the power x in place of b here in second equation we can write a to the power x. So, we write here, here we write for b as a to the power x whole to the power y is equal to c. See, what we have done, since b is equal to a to the power x, I have written b here as a to the power x, this power y I have written as it is, equal to c I have written as it is. Now we have c to the power z is equal to a and simplification of this gives me a to the power xy as c. Now since a is c to the power z so for this a I can write c to the power z. So I write in place of a as c to the power z. 
this power xy is written as it is and this is equal to c which is written as it is. Now again this z is to be multiplied by xy so I get c raised to the power xyz as c. Now c can be written as c to the power 1 and when we compare both the sides we find that the base is c which is same so power will also be same so xyz value is equal to 1 and hence our option a is correct the value of xyz is 1 next question is x raised to the power a upon x raised to the power b whole to the power a square plus ab plus b square and next two terms are like this which are in cyclic order and the value of expression is a1 b0 c minus 1 and d none of these now we have seen earlier also this question when in place of a and b l m and n were there and we have seen that the answer comes as 1 this was our question number 23 so on those lines only this question can be solved our answer here is 1 next question is if 2 raised to the power x is equal to 3 raised to the power y is equal to 6 raised to the power minus z then the value of 1 upon x plus 1 upon y plus 1 upon z is and these are the options given to us now here we write the value of each as equal to k like we have seen in previous questions also so we have here 2 raised to the power x is equal to 3 raised to the power y is equal to 6 raised to the power minus z equal to k that means when 2 raised to the power x is equal to k gives us 2 as equal to k to the power 1 upon x then 3 raised to the power y is equal to k then 3 is equal to k raised to the power 1 upon y and when 6 raised to the power minus z is equal to k gives us 6 is equal to k raised to the power minus 1 upon z now this 6 can be written as 2 into 3 so we write here 2 into 3 as equal to minus k raised to the power minus 1 upon z now 2 can be written as k to the power 1 upon x and 3 can be written as k to the power 1 upon y so k raised to the power 1 upon x into k raised to the power 1 upon y is equal to k to the power minus 1 upon z now here left hand side has base k so in multiplication powers will be added so this gives us k to the power 1 upon x plus 1 upon y is equal to k to the power minus 1 upon z now since base is same both the sides k so powers will also be equal so this gives us 1 upon x plus 1 upon y is equal to minus 1 upon z and when minus 1 upon z comes on left hand side this gives us 1 upon x plus 1 upon y plus 1 upon z equals to 0 so here our option b is correct value of 1 upon x plus 1 upon y plus 1 upon z is 0